Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because we're going to be trying to make meteorite Damascus. First, let's thank today's sponsor. All right, folks, today's sponsor is Squarespace, online website building platform that allows you to control your online presence. You can get started with a free trial at squarespace.com forward slash forge. You'll get 10% off your first purchase when you use code forge at checkout. Let's jump in. It is now July of 20. In 2017, back at the second workshop that this channel has seen in the UK, I attempted to forge a meteorite that a viewer gave me. Unfortunately, it didn't go so well. It has broken open, and I don't know if there's going to be any way to salvage this. I am really sad! The meteorite, it's gone to pieces. And in those videos, I said I would revisit the topic of working with meteorite but I never did. Until now! These are bits of meteorite from our friend Patrick Adair of Patrick Adair Designs. He has a YouTube channel, which you should highly check out and check out down in the description below. He makes rings out of all sorts of crazy cool materials. And when they make meteorite rings, they have a water jet machine, cut them out, and so they're left with these slugs that they can't do anything with, but we just might. Based on the style of ring they made, the meteorite they cut it from, obviously we've got a whole load of different thicknesses of stuff to work with. Some of it has the exterior part of the meteorite on it, some have little funky corners. So we need to do this in a way that we can essentially have random bits of material in our Damascus, and there is no better process for that, I think than canister welding. Will, you've made canister Damascus. Okay, we won't distract Will. Let him do his thing. So Will learned to make canister Damascus from Steve Schwarzer down in Florida. And in fact, in the past, I have done just a little bit of canister Damascus in the UK, a way old video. And this is the key component in it. It is powdered 1080 steel. So this is a steel with 0.8% carbon. It's the same steel we use in our regular Damascus. And we've got to be careful here because this stuff is literally powder. It's finer than sand, so it wouldn't be any fun to breathe that in or to spill it. So here's the rundown on what canister Damascus is going to look like. We're going to have ourselves a box. Inside that box, we're going to be putting our 1080 powder. We will be pouring it in and holding the meteorite in suspension within it. And why I feel semi-confident this is going to work compared to previous meteorite forging adventures and failures is that 1080 when it's all welded down together and it becomes solid because it will do it's gonna help hold the meteorite together and give it some support so that we will have a slightly weaker part of this whole combination but the 1080 is gonna hold it in one place what we need to do is we need to make ourselves the box that's gonna contain this and we also need the secret missing component which is stainless steel foil that is oxidized and all credit for that trick is owed to Steve Schwarzer who taught Will to use stainless foil. More on that later. Alrighty, so this is what's gonna be our can. We have our oxidized stainless foil inside it, and this stops our mild steel can actually welding to our powder and meteorite, and it means that we can break this off easily. We used our nine inch KM Pro heat treating oven, and stay tuned because we're actually becoming a Paragon distributor. So we're gonna be selling those, very exciting. And have a look at this. Now that did not take much time at all. A couple hours in the rust away. What's it called? Evaporust. A couple hours in the evaporust is all it took. Holy macaroni, these things look beautiful. Completely stripped of rust. That is incredible.
So we got it all welded together. It feels pretty solid. The powder has consolidated into a solid thing, which is mind-blowing, frankly, that powder can become solid without it actually becoming liquid. Power of forge welding, it's something special indeed. Anyway, you'll see as we're forging that the jacket of mild steel around it is kind of bubbling around as we go, which shows the oxidized stainless foil is doing its job of keeping it separate from the powder. We like that. What we now want to do, now that the insides are consolidated and solid, we need to get rid of that jacket. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go into the grinding room. I'm gonna take an angle grinder. I'm gonna cut the end, cut into the end there, just cut around the thing. The aim is that hopefully, simply cutting the end means that, like Steve Schwartzer, we can have it, whoop, drop out of the rest of the pipe. So let's get into the grinding room. that the innards fall out this way, it whoop, falls out. Have a look at this. You see, it's flat on this side. It looks like there's a bubble up here. We then pop the bubble out to the other direction. So it's definitely loose in there. It's just not coming out yet. gonna be. We have cracked a little bit, which is good, good crack. This is the tube that's cracked. That's opened up, so it's opening up. It's just taking longer than I would have thought. Whoa, something happened. Have a look at that. I'm gonna now do a reverse taper on it to make sure that it's thinner back here so it has the clearance to escape. That thing is well and truly stuck in there. It's not wanting to come out. Right, Isaiah behind the camera just gave me a really good idea. We're gonna take an angle grinder and just zip down one of the faces or one of the diagonals so we fully make one cut down it and then we'll see if that helps open it up. Look at how cool that looks. You can see that the two pieces are separate because the heat on the inside is so much more than the heat on the outside, which means they're not conducting heat through as consistently as a single piece of metal. When it's hot on the inside like that and cold on the outside, we know these things are separate. That meter I won't be hiding anymore. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's alive. I mean, it's open. Right, this was Isaiah's idea again. How cool is that? on just exposing those raw innards. We peeled off a whole lot. 
of the outside. There were some bits that didn't peel off, so I went to the grinding room. We'd been grinding on it. I felt like I ground through all of the remaining mild steel and stainless foil jacket, but what I'm now going to do is prove this pudding by putting it in the forge, and now I'm gonna forge on it again. And in forging on it again, we're gonna see if stuff breaks off. If it does, we'll be able to grind through it, and then keep forging for us to make anything from our meteorite canister Damascus. We need to make sure it is just meteorite canister Damascus and there's none of that mild steel on there. Otherwise, when we fold it and manipulate it, we're not gonna be having a good time. Alrighty folks, we've done some grinding, and that right there is a billet of meteorite Damascus in all its glory. Is that not utterly spectacular? Hot diggity. Look at that grain in there. That is that, incredible. It's like a space cow pattern. And incredibly, it's space cow, <laughs> yes. And incredibly, the meteorite looks like it's staying together pretty well. So it being supported yeah. by the 1080 is working And you can out. see the areas, there's the little crusty layer around the outside where it's gaining the carbon from the 1080 powder Ooh. as well. That's some crazy meteorite layering right there. Wowza. Wowza indeed. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. On. From first failing at forging a meteorite, here we are with meteorite Damascus. The meteorite encapsulated by that 1080 was able to stay together. We're gonna make this pattern a little bit more complex by forging on it, stacking it, and twisting it, and we're gonna send a piece to Patrick Adair of Patrick Adair Designs, who sent us the meteorite, for him to make some rings out of himself. Please go check out his YouTube channel. But we're still gonna have some of this meteorite Damascus left, and we would love to hear from you about what projects you think we should feature it in. And we wanna hear from you on our Squarespace website by building a page and building a form. So here we go, we're gonna build a new page. Squarespace is sponsoring this video, and the awesome thing about it is it's a completely all-in-one platform. There's no plugins, patches, updates, ever, and it's super intuitive to use. I'm gonna go heading one. One of my favorite things about Squarespace is actually the form building features. I'm building this form because I want you guys to be able to let us know what you want us to make. You can very easily add form fields, such as names, website links, emails, phone numbers, time. On this form in particular, I'm not trying to gather email addresses, I just want to hear your feedback, so I'm gonna get rid of the email. The awesome thing about this, however, is the storage of the form. You can have it save to a Google Sheets. Just like that, we hit save, we adjust this in our navigation, we open up the website, and just like that, we're able to build a brand new page on the website with a custom form that is going to automatically populate into a Google Sheet. Have a look at that. It's submitted. With Squarespace, you've got 24-7, 365 day customer support. Which means if you ever run into an issue, they're gonna be able to help you. It's flexible for any kind of website and it is so powerful and they're constantly increasing the capability of the platform. So please, go get started today at squarespace.com forward slash forge. You're gonna get a free trial. And then if you like it, you'll get 10% off your first purchase with them using code forge at checkout. If you have built the Squarespace website, please drop us a link to it down below in the comments. I'd love to see the things you guys make and the next time Squarespace sponsors a video I'd love to be able to showcase your beautiful websites to all of our viewers thank you all so much for watching thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this thank you guys for showing us the website links down below
Thank you to Patrick Adair for the Meteorite Damascus. Check out his YouTube channel. Link is also down below. See you bye-bye soon. Wait.